calamity affliction. This could be heartbreak. There are many metal bands who have changed their sound or changed their tone to appeal to a wider audience. Metallica slowing down their thrash and exploding in popularity with the Black Album. Yeah! <clears throat> through to Bring Me the Horizon, whose last album managed to just about retain their metal origins whilst exploring a much more melodic and varied direction. The problem with the latest Amity Affliction album is that it's all compromise and no gain. It's okay to slow down, it's okay to reduce the noise, but seriously guys, you have to replace it with something. The problem with mid-paced metal is that, without variety in sound or style, after 11 tracks, it gets fucking tedious. The problem with heavy verse, emo chorus, heavy verse progression is that after 11 songs, they just get really fucking tedious too. I mean, the whole point of melodic sections in metal are that they break up the heaviness. But here it feels like there's nothing to break up, and the melodies aren't catchy enough either. Sure, the vocals scream with energy and the lyrics express real emotion, but it's let down by music that just feels too bland, too generic, too sludgy, and aimed squarely at sort of mid-metal popularity rather than real progression. Sure, it's not all bad. Nightmare manages to strike a good balance. Fight My Regret is decent, and Blood In My Mouth demonstrates exactly what the rest of the album should have been. Widening the soundscape along with enough big stomping guitars to stand out amongst the slugs. But it's not enough to make this album, which is sad really. The Amity Affliction's last two albums suggested that this could be so much more. Their previous album, Let The Ocean Take Me, was a much better balance, maintaining some of the old aggression whilst expanding the range of the band. Listen to one song here and it sounds alright, but after 11, no wait I've done that bit. But anyway, it just grinds into monotony and not in a blood-and-organ-splattering gore-grind way, either. If you haven't heard them before, I recommend listening to 2012's Chasing Ghosts instead. And maybe, just maybe, if you find that a little too heavy and a little too exciting, you might find this could be heartbreak worth a listen. But I don't. This Could Be Heartbreak by The Amity Affliction gets two copies of That's The Spirit out of five. Let me know what you thought of the album in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video review, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.